Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in the Nashville studios, and uh, we are loving Nashville. Come down and see us. I hope you do, because it's a great city. And we're glad we moved from California here because we can do all kinds of fun stuff that we can't do in California. Uh, a lot of that is a customizing guns. Uh, we can customize them, but we can't sell them in California, which is pretty crazy, right? You can own them, but we can't sell them. <laughs> Who makes those laws? Who knows? But today, I want to talk about the OptiQuip slides. And we've got a tremendous program going on because uh, you can now buy a slide with an optic mounted and install parts into it and just pop it on your gun, just like that. And that's, about, uh, that's really what I'm going to show you to do right now. So I've got a G43X that I carry. Boom. Here it is in my $35 holster. Okay. Uh, you can see I just carry it right there almost all the time. I almost forget I have it on because it's so thin. That's the nice thing about the 43X. I'm going to take it out of the holster. I'm going to drop the magazine. I'm going to double check that the gun is in fact unloaded. Pull the trigger in a safe direction. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this slide, install the parts from this slide into this slide, and then I'm going to go ahead and pop it on and I'll now have an opti-equipped gun or an opti-equipped slide. The, um, Slide we're working with is a G43 slide that we manufacture here in the USA, right here in our facility in Nashville. Come down and I'll show you. <laughs> um, it has an EPS carry, the Hullison EPS carry optic mounted to it. All right, EPS is perfect for concealed carry because EPS stands for enclosed pistol sight, which means that the diode is enclosed in this box, which means that it won't get lint or uh, debris or dirt of any type onto the diode, which projects itself onto the glass, which is basically the, uh, the aiming reticle. Because it's enclosed, it doesn't get that. It, gets, it stays clean and it will operate. Now, this uh, site also has some other tremendous advantages. It also has the solar panel, which is very cool because it helps uh, maintain battery life. It also has the Hullison circle dot technology, meaning that it's got a circle and a dot as the reticle. And the circle at self-defense distances, say 10, seven yards, is basically a center mass shot. So you can get up on that circle pretty fast. Anything in the circle is going to be a hit. Okay, and uh, it's really a, it's a it's a game changer when you are trying to shoot fast and accurately uh, at close distances. Uh, shooting with a red dot is much more accurate. It's much faster. You know that's proven out in competition. All the top competition shooters in the world use a red dot. They've got the best scores because the red dot is faster and more accurate, and you will find that to be true yourself. So let's go ahead through the process of disassembling this slide assembling into here and popping it on and showing you what I'm really talking about. So just push this aside a little bit. This is that uh, Glock 43X that I you know, use as my carry gun. I love it because it is thin. Uh, it's easy to carry. It's lightweight. Uh, I've got our EDC magwell on it. Really pushes my hand up on top of the gun as much as possible, which makes it much more controllable. Uh, to take the slide off, again, I'm going to double check to make sure it's empty. It is. I'm going to go ahead and pull the uh, slide back just a little bit. And oh, with the slide lock, I'm going to pull down on both sides. Okay, that's the disassembly or takedown lever. And I hold it down and then walk the slide off and making sure that it doesn't fall off and go bang. Because if I bend my uh, nose ring there, I'm definitely going to need a new slide. <laughs> so be careful. Uh, this is our tungsten guide rod, the pure tungsten guide rod. It's super heavy. Okay, I'm going to take it out just like that. I'm going to push the barrel out. Okay. That's one of our double diamond barrels. All right, now to go ahead and get the internals in here, which is basically the striker and the safety plunger and the extractor and the extractor depressor plunger rod assembly. I'm going to go ahead and I need to take off the uh, slide cover plate. You see I have a little custom uh, USA flag slide cover plate. So all it takes is a punch. You can actually do it with a ballpoint pen, but you know, the punch is a little easier. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just anchor this up uh, here on something soft. Uh, this is a, a, just a roll of blue tape. Uh, what I've got to do is uh, I want to lift up the striker. And underneath the striker is what's called a, um, uh, a spacer sleeve. It's a piece of black plastic. You'll see it when I pull the striker out. Uh, the spacer sleeve is spring-loaded, and it's pushing up on top uh, the underside of this slide cover plate. So I really can't get the slide cover plate until I release 
that spring pressure. So I'm going to go in here and I'm actually going to press down and see how it's spring loaded. So I'm taking that safety, or excuse me, that uh, spacer sleeve off of the um, slide cover plate, and then I can thumb the slide co cover plate off. So go in here and press down and just thumb this off just like that. Okay, then I can go ahead and let it back up. I want to make sure that I keep my thumb on top because that extractor depressor plunger assembly bung, could spring out because it's also spring loaded. It doesn't happen often, but it happens enough to know that you better keep your thumb over top of that. Boom, here's that slide cover plate. All right. And now here we have two things. We have that spacer sleeve. See how it's shaped? See how the back of the slide cover plate is shaped? Now you intersect together. That's why you have to push that down so that it releases that pressure and you're able to push the slide cover plate. You can't really push it off with your thumb. I've seen a lot of people pry it off. They get all scratched up and pretty nasty. But if you, you know, just do that little trick there, you'll notice that's the, uh, the way it goes. So I'm going to pull the whole firing pin assembly out. And it's just an assembly. I don't need to disassemble it because I'm going to put it back into the other slot. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull out the um, uh, extractor, depressor, plunger assembly. <laughs> there's a rod there, there's a spring, there's a plunger, uh, a detent. Uh, you can see how it's intersecting with the extractor. Okay, the extractor is the claw that grabs hold of the spent round uh, and, you know, pulls it back and hits the ejector and it gets ejected out the ejection port. Uh, so here is that little piece. I can just pull it out a little bit get my fingers on it. You can notice, like I said, there's three parts to this. There's the detent, and the detents are different colors based upon the different calibers, okay? There is um, the spring, and then there's the rod, okay? So it's really three parts right there. And then here is the uh, extractor and the safety plunger, okay? To get the extractor, now they, these guys kind of marry up together and they capture each other. It's, it's damn ingenious, I'm telling you what. Uh, so watch this. I'm going to go ahead and just depress the safety plunger, and the extractor is going to fall out. <laughs> there it goes. Boom. This is the extractor. Like I said, that's the claw that grabs hold of the case, the ammunition, the bottom of the ammunition. Now, what's really important, a lot of people fail to you know, inspect these. They do break every once in a while, and they do get dirty. So... Just, you know, when you're cleaning your gun, take a brush in there and just brush out that little claw because that claw wants to be, you know, debris free. Uh, if it starts to get buildup of, uh, you know, carbon, you know, unburnt powder, basically, uh, it may not be able to get a good purchase on the casing. And that's when people start to have ejection problems and they think, hey, what's wrong? Well, sometimes it's just, you know, get in there and clean that thing out and you'll see that uh, it, it's just a little bit of dirt. Uh, and it's an easy fix. Uh, so it's something you want to be aware of. Uh, before you start troubleshooting a whole bunch of other stuff, it's just, you know, is that, is that a claw clean? Is it getting a good grab hold of that thing? Because a lot of people start to do all kinds of other stuff and they don't really look at that. Okay, now, like I said, the extractor intersects with the safety plunger. Typically, the safety plunger is going to fall out. Now, I've shot this gun. I haven't cleaned it in a while, so it may not come out Oh, it did, just like that. came out pretty easy. So the safety plunger has two pieces. It has the, uh, it's dirty. Because, <laughs> uh, it has a spring, and it has the axle safety plunger. Now, notice the safety plunger is uh, flat on one side, okay, and round on the other side. So it goes and goes in, you know, not round, but, you know, it has a rounded top up top here, and then it has the, the uh, cutouts on the side. So it does go in one way, okay. The cutout side is actually intersects with the, uh, the striker, and that's what you know, keeps it safe in a sense, because if the safety plunger is not depressed, the striker can't go forward. And the safety plunger is depressed when you pull the trigger by the bird's eye on the actual trigger bar. So they, all those things kind of work together. All right? So as you pull the trigger, it pushes the safety plunger up, and that allows the striker to go forward, uh, otherwise, if the, if the safety plunger is not up, it's supposed to stop the striker. That's one of the safety features of Glock. So there's all my parts. And now you have a little idea how they work. So this is a blank slide right here. And it's a Glock factory slide. And I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to take my 
OptiQuip slide that we manufacture right here. This is our pyramid cut. Kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> and it's got the uh, Holosun uh, EPS already installed. So first thing I want to do is install the safety plunger and the uh, uh, extractor. So I'll take my spring. And again, this is our titanium coated safety plunger. And it, um, uh, it is a, a, a lighter power spring, which gives it a little bit lighter trigger pull. Like I said, there's a flat side. The flat side goes out. Oh, you know, towards this, the, uh, the edge of the slide. So I'm going to stick that up there like that. And I'm going to get it in there. Now, before I do anything else, I just want to make sure that it has that spring pressure I'm looking for. So you can see I can, it's coming back and forth. The spring, every once in a while, if you don't put it in right, the spring could go cattywampus on you, it goes sideways, you know. So you want to make sure that it does actually have that spring pressure you need. I can see that I do need to clean this gun because that is a little bit dirty and the, um, uh, the trigger bar moves over top of that and if it's dirty, it's going to drag a little bit. So the cleaner it is, the better. So that's just uh, me being lazy, not cleaning the gun. Now, once I've got that in there, I'm going to go ahead and stick my uh, extractor in. Now, to do that, I want to depress the safety plunger down all the way, take the barrel of the extractor, let's see if I can show that to you, this, piece, this part right here, and it goes into a little hole there. So there's like a, a small barrel right there. Uh, hopefully you can see that right on the, this part right here. The claw goes uh, uh, to the front. Barrel goes in. I depress the safety plunger, put the extractor in, and then let it go, and it captures the extractor. Just like that. It's pretty cool. Next up would be the EDP, well, excuse me, the Extractor Depressor Plunger Assembly, <laughs> EDP, okay? So uh, the steel part goes down towards the steel part of the extractor. The spring goes up towards the slide cover plate, okay? Like I said, there's three parts here. That detent, if you lose that, this thing won't work. That little piece of plastic right there, that $3 piece of plastic, uh, if you lose that, the whole gun won't work. <laughs> Imagine that. So we go ahead and I guess you could 3D print one of those, but my goodness. Okay, so we put that in and it goes all the way down. I'm just going to kind of lock it in place. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my actual striker assembly. I didn't take this apart. Like I said, there's, you know, this is an assembly. There are one, two, three parts if you count uh, the spring cups as one. There's really two spring cups, the spring, the uh, spacer sleeve, and the actual striker itself, okay? And this is our, our skeletonized uh, titanium coated striker. And it just goes straight into the hole. And you can see how it fits like so. I just push it down. Make sure I've got some spring pressure there. And I do. It feels good. Now, one of the things of note, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, most of the Glocks, in fact, every other Glock, except the 43 and the 42, have what they call a, a channel liner. The 43, the 43X, 48, 42 do not have a channel liner. Okay, the channel liner is a piece of plastic that goes inside the um, uh, striker channel in the slide, and it kind of uh, uh, guides uh, the, uh, uh, the striker's assembly. This gun doesn't have one, so it won't be included in the slide. You know, you'll, and if you say, hey, where's the channel liner? Well, there is not one in the factory guns, and there's not one in ours either. The 17s, 19s, 22s, all the other guns, 21s, the 20, you know, 27s, all those guns, all have a channel liner. But the 43X and the 43 do not. Okay, so I've got all that stuff kind of pre-staged, and now it's just going to be the slide cover plate. And there's a little trick to this, too. Slide cover plate, of course, has a little channel around it, that, well, should I say a lip around it, that goes into the channel of the slide. I'm going to go ahead and kind of preload that with my thumb just like that. And I'm going to take my punch and I'm actually going to use the backside just so I have a thicker piece and I'm going to slide it, push it down and slide the slide cover plate on. I hope you saw that. So I've got it on halfway. Okay. And now the trick is to take the smaller punch and to push down this uh, uh, extractor depressor plunger assembly. It's spring loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and rest it down here like this. I'm going to take my punch and put it directly on top. Push that down all the way, and then push up, and that's a nice sound because that meant that the striker spacer sleeve clicked into place. 
probably heard the click. So I push that little piece down and then push up with my thumb and there it is. And that is the assembly. I mean, it was that quick, right? All I have to do now is drop the barrel in and the guide rod. A lot of people ask, do you oil the guide rod spring? You really don't have to. It runs pretty good by itself. Uh, you know, if you wanted to, you know, take the rod and, and put a little oil on it, yeah, but be careful, not a lot, because we don't want it to get, uh, capture a lot of debris. So I go ahead and, and I'm going to position the spring in place. Pretty simple. Make sure it's, uh, it's lined up and that's it. Now, uh, this is a brand new, uh, uh, slide. So I'm going to take a little bit of oil and I am going to oil the rails. And you can see, I love this oil uh, uh, that we sell. This is a gun butter. The reason I love it is because of that adapter point. Uh, this applicator point, or should I say, it's like a needle point. You can really dial in exactly where you want this to go. Uh, I've shot this gun before. I could put a little bit of oil right here on top of this piece right there, uh, right up here as well. Just, you know, I don't need a lot. I mean, just a little bit, just kind of spread it around. It's just, you know, it's always good to have a, a, a kind of a wet gun versus a dry gun. A lot of people like to run their Glocks dry, and they will run dry. Okay, that's the cool thing about a Glock. It's going to run no matter what. Uh, but it runs better with a little bit of oil, all right? Uh, like I said, I've already shot this gun a little bit. I could probably take the frame, put a little bit of oil on the, uh, on the actual rails themselves, uh, and then uh, not a lot. And then the other thing that we want to do is put a little bit of oil uh, underneath the uh, connector. And that's really for the trigger uh, bar. Okay. And again, that's kind of a whole separate video. But um, now, as I put these guys on, I'm going to just line up my rails with the, uh, the, the slide there, the frame there. And I put it on like that. Now I just pull it back. And there it is. Just like that. The other thing I want to do real quickly because I said it's a brand new gun, is I want to put a little oil out here, right here where the barrel intersects with the slide, okay, and on the barrel itself, because there is metal-to-metal -metal contact uh, with the barrel and the slide. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm telling you what, now, a red dot is awesome. You know, if, if you're looking to join the red dot revolution, really, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can send us your slide. And we will mill it and send it back to you in 10 days or less. That's our 10-day optic program. A lot of people say, hey, you know what? I want to keep my original slide. I'd like to buy another slide with the optic on it. Now, that's what this is all about. You can just see how I, I, I took a strip slide, installed the parts from this one into that, and literally, without me talking, you can do it in 5 or 10 minutes. <laughs> I could probably talk about another 20 minutes for this too, but you know, bottom line is uh, it's a pretty simple process, especially just the upper parts. Um, the um, other thing to consider, you know, is that uh, we have different options on the slide. So this is our pyramid cut. Uh, we have different options for the uh, optics as well. Uh, but we'll typically be building these things and, and say, hey, they're available. And uh, you can, you know, buy which one you want. Now, we can finish this upper in a million different ways, too. That's kind of custom work. Uh, but, you know, if you've got an idea, you've got a, a, a program you're looking to do, hey, it may take a little bit longer, but we can do it exactly the way you want it so that you get the, uh, the setup and the build you like. Like I said, uh, this EPS is cool because it's got a kind of a, a built-in rear sight. That means I don't really need to use uh, uh, suppressor sights to see over top of this thing. I could just put a, a front sight on and run with it. All right, because I'm looking at that slide right there, and I, I believe I'll be able to, to work that front sight. So bottom line is uh, uh, the EPS, uh, excuse me, the OptiQuip slides themselves are available. We are making them. Uh, we'll have what's available when it's available. If you've got a custom idea, it may take a little bit of time. But, hey, we'll build it for you. That's the bottom line. So hope you want to join the Red Dot Revolution because I know it's going to make you a faster and more accurate shooter. And... Um, uh, give us a call. We're, you know, we're here to really help you build exactly what you want. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in Nashville. Uh, we're on Rumble. I ask you to subscribe here on YouTube. Go over to Rumble and check it out, too, because YouTube may say, hey, we don't like guns someday. <laughs> it may be pretty close. Uh, and um, uh, we've got all our videos over on, on Rumble as well. Of course, uh, uh, we've got a great facility here in Nashville. We're two miles from the airport. If you ever come to Nashville and you fly in, you know, people come here before they can check into their hotel room or they'll come here on the way home before they go to the airport.
So we invite you to come in and check it out. We've got lots of cool stuff. You can pick up one of these uh, optical slides and take it back on the airplane with you, okay? Because there's not a consider it a firearm. Just put it in your luggage and, and it comes in a nice box and it's pretty heavy duty and you can uh, actually uh, just pick it up and take it home. All right, I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.